Slope M of a line, lecture 2025. So where are we headed with this lecture? Given two points, can you plot those points, join those points, and then interpret the slope of the line? So that's where we are headed with this. Slope is change in Y over change in X. Most of you have learned slope as rise over run. That means what? When you go from left to right along the horizontal, what do we see? We see a rise for this line. We see a vertical rise, and the vertical rise is this. All right, so the vertical rise divided by horizontal run. Slope is rise over run. Sometimes rise is positive. Sometimes when you go from left to right, the line falls. Slope is negative. Sometimes when you go from left to right, the line just stays horizontal, in which case the slope is zero. And sometimes the line is vertical, in which case there is no slope. The slope is undefined. So let's look at some scenarios. So you plot x1, y1, x2, y2. And then when you go from left to right, what happens? When you go from left to right along the horizontal, when you go from left to right along the horizontal, you really fall for this particular line. So this is an example where the slope is negative. Rice is positive, and the opposite of rice is what? Negative. When you go from left to right along the horizontal, what do we see? We see a rise. So this is a case where the slope is positive. Slope is positive. Sometimes when you go from left to right, nothing happens. The line stays horizontal. Let's say this is how your investment is for the last few years, then what is happening? Your investment is not, you're not losing any money. Of course, you're not gaining any money either. And sometimes the lines are vertical. So what happens? There is no slope. No slope or slope is undefined. All right, slope is undefined. So plot x1, y1, x2, y2 and then interpret whether you have positive slope, negative slope, or zero slope, or the slope is undefined. Let's go back to what we have here. What is this? You have x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, slope is rise over run. Slope is rise over run. And you know that from here to here, from here to here is x1. From here all the way to here is x2. We are talking about the horizontal. When you put x1 on top of x2, when you put x1 on top of x2, what is the difference? And that difference is this. That is delta x. When you put x1 on top of x2 and cut the difference, what do we see? Delta x. When you put y1 on top of y2, and cut the difference, what is it that we see? We see, we see this, just that, and that is delta y. So you have rise, delta y, run, delta x. So what is delta y? y2 minus y1. Delta y is y2 minus y1. What is delta x? x2 minus x1. And from that, we find the slope. So let's do some examples. All right, example number one. Find the slope if the point, if the points are x1, y1, 1, 2, and 3, 4. So x1, y1 is 1, 2. x2, y2 is 3, 4. First of all, we need to plot those points. 1, x equals 1, y is equal to 2 y is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. 
So 1, 2 is right there. How about 3, 4? x equals 1, x equals 2, x equals 3. And then y is equal to 4. y is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, y is equal to 4. So join those two points. When you join x1, y1, and x2, y2, what is delta y? And what is delta x? You agree that delta y is equal to 2. You agree that delta x is equal to 2. So what is the slope? Delta y over delta x. And that is 2 over 2. 2 over 2, and that is 1. 2 over 2, and that is 1. So let's apply the formula and see. Slope is y2, 4. y1, 2. x2, 3. x1, 1. So it is 2 over 2, which is 1. Slope is 1. So this is what I did. Slope is 1. Here is our point x1, y1. And here is our point x2, y2. x1, y1, x2, y2, join those points. You have the rise and you have the run. What is the rise? Change in y, what is delta y? 2. What about change in x, delta x? 2. 2 over 2, 1. Slope is 1. Let's now look at example number 2. What is our point? Negative 1 negative 2. And what is x2, y2? Negative 3, negative 4. Negative 1, negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2. So you have x1, y1. How about x2, y2? Negative 3, negative 4. Negative 2, negative 3, x equals negative 3, y equals negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So can you join these points? And when you join those two points, what do you see? Delta y is 2. How about delta x? Delta x is also 2. So what is slope? We expect it to be 2 over 2. And that is again 1. So let's apply the formula. y2, y2, m is equal to y2 minus y1. y2, negative 4. y1, negative 2. x2, negative 3. x1, negative 1. So this is negative 4 plus 2 divided by negative 3 plus 1. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So you get 1. So that's what I did here. You plotted x1, y1, green, x2, y2, red. All right. So you have x1, y1 and x2, y2. And then you look at the slope. Slope is y2, y2 minus y1, 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 y2 minus y1, divided by x2, 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 minus x1, 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 x1. What is negative 4 minus negative 2? It is negative 4 plus 2. So we have that, and negative 3 minus negative 1 is negative 3 plus 1, and negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, have negative 3 plus 1, negative 2, so negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. Example number 3, 0, 5, and 5, 0. 0, 5, x equals 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5. 0, 5, and 5, 0. 5, 0. 1, 1, x equals 2, x equals 3, x equals 4, x equals 5. 
So join those two points and you have the line. And what is the slope? When you go from left to right, what happens? When you go from left to right, what happens? You really fall. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So you have negative 5. What about the run? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So your slope is, slope is rise over run negative 5 over 5 and that is negative 1. So your slope is negative 1. Your slope is negative. It makes sense. When you go from left to right, you have the slope negative. So plot those points, join those points, you have the line, now you know what is the slope. Now let's apply the formula. What is y2? y2, y2 is 0. What is y1? y1 is 5. x2, x2 is 5. x2 is 5. And what is x1? 0. So you get negative 5 over 5, and that is negative 1. So that's what I did here. You join those points and you have the line. Slope is negative 1. Slope is negative 1. Do not forget, the green is the green point, 0, 5. Red is the red point, 5, 0. So join those points and you have the line and you have the slope. Example number 4, negative 2, positive 5. Negative 2... Negative 2, positive 5, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5. All right, negative 2, positive 5, negative 4, negative 7. Negative 4, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Negative 4, negative 7, negative 1 negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. So you have x2, y2, and you have x1, y1. So what is our change in y? Our change in y, if you join those two points, what is our change in y? First of all, is the slope positive or negative? It is positive. What is change in y? I would say it is from here, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So change in y is 12. How about change in x? It is just 2. Change in x is 2. So what is the slope? So slope is change in y over change in x, and so it is 12 divided by 2, and so it is 6. So let's apply the formula. m is equal to y2. y2 is negative 7 minus y1, 5, divided by x2, negative 4. x2 is negative 4. x1 is, x1 is negative 2. So this is negative 12 divided by negative 4 plus 2. So this is negative 12 divided by negative 2, and that is positive 6. Negative divided by negative is positive. So you get slope is equal to 6. So that's what I did here, all right? So what is our rise? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And what is our run? 1, 2. So what is the slope? Rise over run. So m is equal to rise over run. And that is 12 divided by 2, which is equal to 6. Or apply the formula and you get the same answer, 6. Example number 5. You have negative 2, positive 5. Negative 2, positive 5, negative 1, negative 2, 
positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5. Negative 2, positive 5, negative 2, negative 7. Negative 2, negative 7. Negative 2 is x equals negative 2, x equals negative 1, x equals negative 2. Negative 7, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. So when you join those two points, it is a straight line. It's a vertical line. It should have no slope. So it is a vertical line, no slope. What do you expect? You expect the slope to be undefined. You're going to get x2 minus x1 equal to 0. So let's substitute the numbers. y2. y2 is negative 7. And what is y1? 5. So negative 7 minus 5 becomes change in y. How about change in x? Negative 2 minus negative 2. And you know this is negative 12 divided by negative 2 plus 2. And that is negative 12 divided by 0. And slope is undefined. Slope is undefined. So that's what I did here. Slope is undefined or no slope. Example number 6. Negative 2, positive 5. Negative 1, negative 2, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5. Negative 2, positive 5. And negative 6, positive 5. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 6, positive 5. Positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5. Join these points and it is a horizontal line. So you expect change in y to be equal to 0. So let's go back to our formula. What is y2? 5. What is y1? 5. What is 5 minus 5? 0. 0 divided by anything is 0. And x2 is negative 6 minus x1, negative 2. So this is 0 because 0 divided by anything is 0. So this is a horizontal line, and that's what we have here. All right? And this is George Matthew. I'm just trying to help you.